Hello everybody, welcome back to more Peglin. We are back again, jumping in. Whoa, what is what is this? Start each run with plus one. Stones have minus zero and minus one. Um, interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we can activate Crucible. I think Crucible is just like a difficulty mode, so I'm definitely up for it. Uh, let's see what we've got to start with here. Stones get plus one, plus two is, is pretty nice. Um, and they contribute to damage. Suffer the Sling. Eye of the Turtle is incredible, but I'm going to go with Suffer the Sling just to make our early game a little bit easier, especially with the Crucible. Um making things a little bit more difficult. But the Crucible seems to be kind of like Ascension levels from Slay the Spire, if you know that game. It's an interesting way to add it. Ooh, there's also been an update to the health bars as well. Interesting. Uh, so right now, our rocks are doing 4-4. Four, four. Um, I don't know if you can see in the menu anywhere our Crucible stats, uh, but th this is pretty good. Our, um, our rocks are doing very good damage off the bat here. It does mean that crits are completely unnecessary right now as well, I think. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly how that works, but two bombs off the bat, I ain't complaining. This is good damage. Uh, we're we're going to get one kill here. Uh, well, one kill on the spider. There's, we got kills on everything else. Um, so yeah, we're doing plus four. So I don't think we need crits with uh, our stones early on, which actually helps a lot. There you go. And there's another bomb. And this means everything is dead. That was a very good first run, only taking a single damage. Um, let's take a Swiltorb. Swiltorbs can be upgraded to become very, very good. And let's take a little look at our map. I think we definitely want to go left off the bat here. Um, get a question mark, get a chest. That's kind of my vibe. Kind of my idea of fun. But, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this game. They just released roadmap, um, for this game for, like, the upcoming updates, uh, what they're going to be doing next and stuff. And there is a lot in store for this game. The new classes, of course. Loads of new items. They're aiming to have three bosses, five mini bosses for every single area in the game, which is exciting. Uh, there's just, yeah, there's, there's a lot coming up in this game. A lot of good to look forward to. And I'm going to be following it along very closely. I hope to keep the series around on the channel for a good little bit, as long as you guys are still enjoying, which Based on the last episode that came out, for me, uh, the feedback on that one was kind of incredible. That one got a lot of views. Uh, it's kind of out the blue, really, but I was super happy to see it. Uh, right. So we don't need to go for crits, but I am going to just go for one anyways, because <laughs> it's there. Um, we only need a little bit of damage on that guy anyways. I'm basically just trying to clear out enough space to get this bomb here. I don't know if we'll end up getting it this turn. Don't give me the refresh. I know it's going to give me the refresh. Okay. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Right, let's just try and get it again. Don't refresh me. Don't do it. Okay. Can we get the up down? I was hoping for the straight up, straight down. We might be able to get the bomb actually here if we get the right bounces. Unfortunately, we didn't. But one good bounce on this, plus a good few hits. It's enough. It's enough. We've done it. Again, we've still only taken one damage. This is good. Upgrade. I think we want to upgrade our Swaltorb first. It's definitely the most important one early on. There's also going to be, like, a, a shop added to the game where I think you can, like, buy orbs, upgrade orbs, and uh, remove orbs, which is really good. I think the game kind of needs that. Short Fuse is incredible. In fact, we might be able to... Damn it. I was going to say get one of those. Doesn't matter now. Um, ooh, Elite. I'm kind of glad I came this way. But these, these bombs are going to get hit pretty quick here. I'm hoping we don't hit all of them uh, early on. I'm kind of waiting for uh, things to get on screen first. But I don't mind taking a little bit of damage here for that to happen. There you go. Most things are on screen now. Let's uh, don't hit every bomb. Don't hit every bomb. Don't hit every bomb. Okay, good. That, that kind of worked out. We got almost all the bombs. But there's still a good few left for the next time. But all of those guys are dead. Very, very dead. And then if we can clear some space to just get to the bombs next turn, I think we'll be fine. I think we can get it right in the corner here and hit all three bombs in one go, right? Ugh, not quite. We hit two, though. Two's enough to get, get us the kills. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh, I just It's just satisfying when you hit all the bombs. I just want two for the aesthetic. <laughs> but yeah, short fuse is such a huge upgrade for us here. We get a small target to level three. 
and I think we are good to go for our elite here. I probably should have gone question mark and then elite because I could have gotten an extra out of that. But if I'd have missed it, I'd have been a little upset. So we've got the kind of difficult elite here. Um, I'm gonna go with this route here and uh, go for the old the old drop down and hope we can get the bomb. With it only being a one touch on the bomb, makes them a lot lot easier to get. We don't have anything super crazy. We don't have anything super crazy for getting a, a good setup here for uh, killing these guys quickly. But we might be able to hit this bomb again here. Yes. Okay, that, that definitely sorts us out early on. I don't think we've got a kill here on this guy. Oh, no, we do. We got a kill on that guy already. Nice. Um, I think with our current rock situation, we have almost no need to discard rocks. So I'm just kind of... Letting them go as they are. That wasn't a great hit, but honestly, 72 damage is not to turn our nose up at. I kind of want to refresh here, so I'm going to try and go for one. Just about missed it. I mean, good damage nonetheless, but I was hoping for that refresh. Just because I'd be able to make my Swaltar pop off if I could do that. Let's just do it here instead. Yeah, plus three immediately is uh, pretty incredible. I Honestly, I'm not too worried about getting max value out of the small top now anyways just because there's so little of this uh round left and i i think our our, uh, our refresh is just in such awful spots that we kind of need to not worry too much about them i mean i did manage to get that one there but we I, in, in more so is what i mean is getting the small top to hit everything because as you can see we're uh moving out of this stage already oh, i was hoping for the crit there that with the crit that could have been a kill Yes, there you go. Okay, did lose a little bit more health than I was hoping to there, but that's good. Let's just upgrade our stones. Um, previously thrown bombs can now be refreshed. I think that's a really good idea. Bombs doing a bit less damage obviously isn't great. Um, we want to go question mark here first, don't we? Yeah, um, it isn't great, I'll be honest. Uh, but... Being able to refresh them is incredibly important for late game. Uh, so, especially if we get any sort of bomb build going. It just means that we don't have to hold off on using our bombs. We can just use them straight away. And this this strike here was perfectly fine. I was kind of aiming to not hit any of the bombs. The more bats we can get on screen first, the better, really. Uh, we don't want to take too much damage. But if we can get, like, two more bats on screen, even just one more will do. Yes, yeah, so then we go like this. And that's good damage and a bomb. So that's you killed and you killed, right? Yeah, there you go. So we are only dealing... Um, what are we dealing now? 25 damage with our bombs? 35, I think? Something like that? Okay, so we can't get a crit here. So let's get rid of the dag orb. That didn't really go to plan. That, that, that really didn't go to plan. Okay. I just want to get the bomb. Okay, that's... Trying to get those bombs ain't really going our way. Ain't really going our way. Um, and I keep hitting refreshes too, which makes it even harder. There you go, just another refresh. It's kind of a double-edged sword, really, because getting the refresh means that we can refresh the bombs, but it then also means that the path to the bomb is once again made more difficult to get to. At this point, it's, it's such hard time getting to the bombs that I'm not even really bothering. We, we're killing these guys in a single hit anyways. Like, we just, we just can't, no matter what I do, I can't make it to the bomb. I don't know what's going on. This is a weird layout for it though, isn't it, so. Like, look at, look at this, so close. Oh, there you go, you got one. That should be a kill then. Beautiful. I think we'll go with the poltergeist orb just so we can get some piercing going. And is there a specific way we'd like to go here? If we go right, we can make it to another elite. So I reckon that's the best play. We'd have to go hard right the whole way across though. But it's plausible. It's plausible. Got an item here. Whenever you take damage, deal two times that amount back. That's kind of good. Ooh, although I could try and get another item here. Doesn't matter. It <laughs> didn't hit any of the bombs anyways. I always try for that when I've got the uh, short fuse, but you never know. Right. 
No easy way to gain a crit here. There's honestly no easy way to hit bombs here either, although I did manage to hit one there. Um, oh, that, that bomb didn't refresh. Oh, it's because it's not been thrown yet. Okay. I always forget that. It's previously thrown bombs. Okay. Again, not really a good chance of getting a crit here, so let's just go for this. Oh, that was terrible. That was straight down the middle. I always forget that these webbing orbs slow you down quite a lot. Very easy to forget that. Let's try and go down here. That Yeah, there you go. We might be able to get two bombs out of this if we're lucky, but just one would be fine by me. We got a refresh as well and a crit. Okay, that was good. We're doing very odd numbers of damage now with our bombs. One of our stones now actually does require us to get crits, and some of the other rest don't, so I'm just going to aim for crits anyways, if I can. Also, it's just satisfying to see everything we res. Okay, Swaltorb is pretty good here. A little bit too late. It'd be nice to see the Swaltorb a little earlier more often. We're unfortunately seeing it quite late most of the time. But it's good to see no, no matter what, really. It doesn't do a g great lot of damage on itself, on its own, but like, look at the amount of snacks it gets for us here. Not gonna get a kill here. But this guy's deal dealing one damage at a time, so it's not a big deal. There you go. I think we only need that bomb to get the kill there, so. Okay. Orbalisk is actually pretty good here. Let's grab that. We've got some bombs in our deck. We're going hard right. We might want to heal. Our health is looking a little bit, a little bit sketchy. So we might want to heal after this battle here. Okay, this is the annoying one. This is the one at a time one. I don't think we're going to get 80 here, are we? So, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, this is like one at a time. Um, fellas. Try and just get the bomb here. I honestly don't care if we don't get a lot of damage off the bat. It's I'd prefer to just get to my Swole Torb, get a refresh. Although, saying that, our refreshes are both pretty precarious to actually grab, so... Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We got one. Nice. And, of course, it hits relatively fuck all. Always go for big players with a Swaltar, but it's like, no, no, no. You may not. Oh, we got the bomb, though. Nice. And everything's on screen now, too, so that's a good amount of damage. <clears throat> Five damage to that guy. Great. Oh, that was not good damage. But the bomb is back. If we can get to it, the bomb is back. This is going to do piercing damage as well. Get a crit. Dude. Okay, there you go. I actually got a crit. I was going to be really annoyed if it didn't hit that then. Okay, so it's done 75. Everything's dead. This thing's got piercing, so it's just going to blast through all of these guys. And then, yeah, I think we heal here. As much as my poltergeist orb would be nice to upgrade, um, I think we're better off just going for a heal and making sure that we don't come out of this elite fight into the boss feeling really rough, which we definitely could if we're not careful. Uh, okay, again, we got this fight. I think we go for um, we go for this straight away. I doubt. I highly doubt we can get the crit. Oh wait, we did. Technically, we got a crit. Didn't really go the way I wanted it to. I'll admit, but technically, we did get a crit. Oh, really missed the crit there too. At least here we can grab a bomb. damage on you. Why are the refreshes always in such awful positions? At least we managed to get that one. There's the bomb back again. And that's you in front dead. Right. Um, I think we go with this. 
because that's going to give us the bomb back. Fill out all of this. Hit the bomb again. Yeah, that's that's a good amount of the uh, the board filled out there. And this is what I mean by the refreshing bombs. We're just getting so much extra available damage to us by doing this. You're not seriously going to miss the refresh, are you? Okay, no, you're not. I just wanted that bomb again. And then there you go. There you go. This guy's dead. It just spiraled. And I'm very much glad. Very much glad we healed. So let's go with upgrade. We can go with... I think we go with the poltergeist orb. Um, I think we go with the crits also refresh. That's going to be pretty nice. Go to our question mark here. And then, okay, we just got our boss next. Sadly, there's no way to get that treasure chest. The boss here shouldn't be too bad. Um, this is kind of not great because it makes our orbalisk not quite as good. Um, but if I have to get rid of anything, getting rid of a stone level one, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be too sad about that. I'll be honest. Um, let's discard that for now. Try and hit both of those. We're gonna get stuck in this train here, but. That's actually not bad damage, and we've revealed the bombs. I'm not sure. Let me... I'm going to try and do that again. Okay, it does upgrade these. I, I wasn't sure if it upgraded them or not. The fact that it does makes me pretty happy. Damn it. I was really hoping I could get a bomb there. We did get a crit, though. That's, that's good damage, then. I was really hoping we could get a bomb there. But now, if we try to choose that same path, then we get all the plus threes all the way along there, leading to just huge damage with a stone. Damn, that was not good. We're going to get eaten up a little bit here. So we lost a bit of damage on our uh, Orbalisk here. But two bombs, 54 damage. Damn. <laughs> it hit one peg. Okay, we might die here if I'm not careful. Okay, th thank God that refreshed. I think we're... Upgrade. We definitely go for an upgrade on that again. Multi-ball. Attacks have... Hmm. We don't have anywhere to heal, so Sapper Sack's a pretty difficult one to go for right now. Glorious Suffering is interesting. This is kind of tough. I'm going to gamble and take that. That might not be the right idea. We'll see how much damage our stones end up doing now. That might not be the right idea. I, I honestly think that's probably a bad idea. But there wasn't really a good option for us there. All of them were going to hurt us in some way. So it was kind of the, the, the lesser evil. Okay, stones actually still perform reasonably well. Surprisingly so. Do you know what? 81 damage across the board. Not bad at all. Yeah, this isn't... Okay, this isn't too bad at all. I thought this was going to be way worse than it is. This has actually worked out pretty perfectly for us. We definitely need somewhere to heal. That'd be nice. I'll take a rub orb. I definitely need to upgrade it to make sure it does some damage. Uh, let's, which way are we going to go here? I think this way because it's got more question marks. Question marks could be the way that we get our healing, get more relics, things like that. Do you know what? I'll take it. That's really good with what we've just got because now we hit even more pegs because we got double the amount and now we've got the healing that I just asked for. Um, 
You're walking down a quiet hallway. I know that we've got an obelisk that, that suffers greatly from us removing that, but I'm going to do it anyways. Dude, dude. Don't go question mark. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yes. Yeah, it's maybe a bad idea to make my obelisk suck so much. That's really good. Especially considering we just thinned out our deck a lot. That saves us some hassle. But, Swaltorb, this is going to mean that we get even more upgrades. But then we're going to get a lot of healing too. That's more bombs. Yeah, look at the amount of upgrades we've got there. That's that's kind of insane. We might even get this second bomb, actually, if we're lucky. Nah, not quite. But that is a lot of upgraded pegs right there. And a good amount of damage itself, anyways. Do that. And yeah, it means that these weaker pegs can still do good damage despite not having good base damage from the reduction that we have. Why is this guy taking so much damage? Oh, it's because of the lifesteal. Bombs. And slash that on. Beautiful. So that needs upgrading just to do some damage. There you go. I think this is actually a pretty interesting build we've created for ourselves here. I think this is this has been quite successful. Good, good. Go for the question mark first, because then we can choose whichever treasure we want. Oh, we definitely go right for the double treasure, if we can. Attack supply, one blind. I know that I could try and get an extra treasure there, but I'd rather just get guaranteed double treasure this way. Or I could go for the elite. Let's, let's let the game decide, shall we? There you go. <laughs> Decided. Oh, that's kind of good. This thing, Bouncy, having double is, is pretty incredible here. Should hit a lot of bombs. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Where did this damage come from? Oh, my lord. That's a lot of damage. Was not expecting that. Holy hell. Okay, so bouncy boys are uh, the way to go. They are the way of the future, most certainly. Holy hell. Holy hell. It's still going, too. Wow, that was incredible. That's one mirror down, <laughs> I'd say. My obelisk. It does minus one? What does that even mean? I have to check. Does it does it literally heal the enemy? I have to see this. Okay, no. I, I was thinking that would be ridiculous if it actually healed the enemy. It would be so funny if it did. Beautiful. It's all of you dead. Apart from you, maybe. Oh no, got you too. Okay, I think this boss is about to get absolutely memed and creamed, to be honest. I think this boss is, is very, very dead. Duplicate an orb. I think we definitely want to duplicate our rubber. That thing was so much better than I thought it'd be. Swaltorb is definitely a good contender, but de damn, that rubber boy did a lot of damage.
Especially with the bombs, like, send sending them to outer space and giving them so much speed. Okay, th these ones aren't doing so well, but honestly, the damage is still good. But n nowhere near as good as we need it to be right now. That's a, that's a lot of boys. Okay, this one could be a bit of a trial. There's a lot of health we got to get through, and honestly, these dudes are the things that make the, the, the thing fire right, I think. They're going to be kind of hard to uh, make sure we kill. Okay, no, they just move in front, I see. Okay, get them on the bombs. The layout here is just not really conducive to the setup we've currently got, to be honest. I think once we get the small torps going, things could change and be more, more in our favor, but we'll see. We're just not hitting the bombs ever either. Like, the bombs are so hard to hit. Because <laughs> they're at the peaks of the towers. I don't know, though. Our damage is on it is very good so far. Just hit the bombs. Just hit a bomb. Just one bomb, please. Okay. Come on, stack that damage, please. Okay, there, that's... You got it. You got the energy. You got it popping. We need more bombs though, there you go, to make sure we kill the guys in front first and actually hit the, uh, hit the damn thing. Okay, we've got a good amount of bombs there. No refresh, unfortunately, but... Oh, ho, 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 because he was blinded, he fucking missed. That is tragic for him, because that deals like... I don't know how much damage it deals. I think it's like 35. It might even be 50. If it's 50, we would have died right there. I don't know exactly how much it is, but that is tragic. Our little bit of blind saved us. At least I'll at least kill the fellas around him. I keep thinking it's refresh is crit rather than crit is refresh, which is stupid for me because I should just always go for crits. Oh, he's loaded. He's loaded. Okay, the bombs at least get you out of the way. We might get hit here. I hope it doesn't kill us because it, it actually could. Okay, 30. And it makes us dizzy. I'm glad it isn't 50 because I kind of... My brain was like, it's 50, isn't it? But we will heal to full after this, so that's fine. And you are dead. Not quite full, actually, but near to it. That was, that was kind of close. I was a little worried. Um, bombs are weak magnets and become strong magnets. Effect is full strength for four seconds and gradually decreases over the next eight seconds. I think we'll take that. Okay. On to the last floor where things get a little bit trickier. I think the magnet with, um, with our Matrushka doll thing is going to be really good. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Dude. Dude. That was tragic. <laughs> he did like one bounce and went straight into a black hole. I mean, th this other one is going off, but that first one was tragic. That's one of you dead already. Huh? 
Sadly, crits are almost impossible to get here, so let's just... Yeah. <laughs> Without... The, a dag orb does no damage anyway, so that's kind of it is what it is. There's a refresh. Good. I always forget how good the poltergeist orb is with the uh, magnet. It's so good. Because it can travel upwards so much easier than it normally would. Even on this level with a black orb, it can travel upwards so much easier. New orb. We've got a refresh orb. That orb or all or nothing orb. I think we actually skip, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on right now. I don't think I want to sabotage. Got an elite pretty much straight away here too, which could be pretty interesting. I always forget what the elites are on this floor. Check behind the waterfall. Fight. Oh, hello. I was not expecting you. Oh, no way. That was tragic. The black hulls. Why are you so mean to me? Please, please give me a good crit here. Why oh, you move so close? Nope, that's not a good crit. This is, this might have been a mistake. This might end up being a very difficult fight. He has a lot of health and we are not doing all that much damage. I'm trying to think where our saving grace is here, but even our swole top, I mean, blind might be pretty useful. The swole top here is going hard, I will say. Okay, that swole top went very hard. That was good. But we're going to get slapped a bit here. We're going to get a little bit of slap and tickle. Didn't hit that crit there. It's okay. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, this. No, th this is good. I think you might be dead. Maybe? Yeah, you're dead. Wow, okay. Didn't even get hit once. Unexpected. I, just, I keep forgetting about the bomb damage as well. I guess we upgrade you. I'll take this because I, I really don't want to lower my bomb damage anymore. Even if I could get more bombs on the board, then dealing another 15 less damage just makes them <laughs> very worthless. Okay, so we've got this area again. Is this an elite? I can't remember. I think this is the fight before the elite, isn't it? This doesn't feel like an elite. I think it's dead anyways, isn't it? That can't have been an elite, right? <laughs> okay, no, it wasn't. I was going to say, that would have been way too easy for an elite. Okay. Okay, we've got this guy again. So we know we can beat this dude. Swoltorp was actually kind of one of the, the major influences in doing that. So I'm hoping it can be so again. If one of you can hit that refresh instead of just bumbling around like morons, that'd be nice. Don't. Don't. No! That was tragic. That was absolutely tragic. Okay, we, we are going to get slip slapped here. I don't know how much to get damage this guy does, but we are going to get slip slapped around a little bit because... My foolish character, my foolish orbs did nothing, nothing that I asked them to. I I don't know how much damage I'm about to take here. Oh, luckily none for that turn. That's very good. Please give us a refresh here, come on now. Blind. Yes, the, bl the blind is saving our ass. Also, the refresh on um, on reload is pretty incredible. Beautiful. Um, ball lightning has potential, but do you know what? I'm gonna grab it and try and upgrade it for later. Cause I think it has a lot of potential. Let's go this way. But we need it. We need to be upgraded quite a lot pretty soon for it to be at all useful. 
Nope, do we not want fireballs? What question marks do we have today, sir? Oh. This. This fight is the bane of my existence, mainly because it's so easy to kill yourself, especially with the setup we've got currently, and with the bombs refresh thing that we've also got currently. Don't hit too many red bombs this this go off, please. Just just fall. Just end it all and fall, please. Thank you. Because that's a lot of damage to us right now. I have to say, looks like we're going to die. <laughs> The magnet is screwing me really hard here. Okay. That was close. <laughs> mm. Elite? I'm going to take the Elite on. I know I have 13 health, but I'm hoping that on my first hit I can get a lot of healing. Depends on the Elite, doesn't it? Okay, this is this is a great elite. We're gonna get a ton of healing here. Look how much damage we've dealt to it and we haven't we haven't even shot it yet. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> Four health after that was very scary. We need piercing damage here, so we'll go for piercing damage. Piercing and bomb damage is kind of the only way here. But I think it's dead now already. We just need our balls to fall. If we keep getting refreshes, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, that's one ball gone. Other one's still been staying up high for a long time, so... Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. Is there a reason I'm having another turn here? Oh. There must be other stuff to kill. I didn't think there was. I love watching the uh, the splat orb going around. The rubber orb, rub orb even, going around. When you just can't see any of the pegs, it's so funny. It keeps, like, falling in, then going straight back up again. Just drop! There must be pegs everywhere on the stage for this to happen. Everywhere. Seems there's only one enemy left, so there you go. All orbs have persist one. I think I'm going to take that. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, I think all of us having persist one is kind of intriguing. It does, it can create some situations for us which could be pretty bad. We'll see how that goes. That's also good. Yeah. It's, it, it's it's precarious. It could be really good, it could be terrible. Huh? 
but yeah, being able to get you splat orb twice in a row is beautiful. Poltergeist orb, Swaltz orb. It's only the dagger, the ball lightning, and the orbalisk that we don't care about. So as long as we don't get them in a row, we should be fine. Wait, even on an upgrade, ball lightning's still useless. Hmm, may have been a, a mistake to take that. No! Okay, no, no! <laughs> How did you end up in the fire still game? How? Maybe one more upgrade on ball lightning will actually upgrade its damage. So this is a situation in which it isn't great, because now we need a crit for this to be useful. Which, I feel like it's not gonna crit. Nah. Which means we deal no damage. Well, we can still do the bomb damage, but... Okay, that now we can deal some damage. Good. I was a little worried there. A little bit worried. Now we can get rid of that. Do our regular old thing. Get some healing, hopefully don't hit too many red bombs. to 140 damage real quick, please. Damn it. I mean, the bombs might do it, yeah. The bombs will do it. Really? I mean, I'm going to upgrade it again, because why not? But I thought that we'd get some damage upgrade. It must just increase its, like, lightning abilities and nothing else. Which means that I need swole torbs before my ball lightning to, to care, really, essentially. Which is a little annoying, but fair. Come on, get that crit, get that crit. It's crit, yeah, there you go. Now we're cooking with gas. Beautiful. Again, if we can make our way over to the crits, it'd be nice, but right, they are quite far away, so I won't count on it. We managed to kill one of those mirror. Yeah. For some reason, I thought we killed the mirror without dealing any damage to it, but we did actually just slap it in the last turn, didn't we? Please don't go straight into black hole. Okay, good. Everything's dead. I love the way this thing can travel so fast, just go straight through the black hole. I don't even care. Black hole ain't got nothing on me. See, something that I've noticed that is pretty insane right now is we have this, which is dealing one damage for every five hits, and then this, which is dealing uh, one damage for every two hits. It's pretty insane damage. So the enemies are taking a lot without us even firing our ball, which is pretty incredible. We're pretty much onto the boss here, so... Hope we can get some good stuff going on. Just gonna hope we don't get unlucky with our draws when we uh, fight the boss. That could be the clincher of how uh, how well we do. Four of these guys isn't so bad. Use our rock here. Honestly, our rock does great damage, so not a problem. Not a problem. I will use our rock all day long. To be fair, yeah, you kind of have to get a crit for it to be really good, but it is still good without it. Come on, the crits are so, they're so free. Oh, you bastard. They were so free here. Did we get the kill, anyways? No, we don't. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god. The healing with the amount of pegs we're hitting is just insane, too. Look how many fucking pegs we hit, though. Six damage. Come on, just get black hold. Get black hold quickly. There you go. Bulldog? Eh. Could be good, but I think we've got a good enough setup here. I think the boss is pretty dead. I mean, we don't have great HP. We do have got, like, we've got a lot of sustain, but we'll see. The magnet's going to help a lot early here. I'm hoping we get a refresh before our balls die here, but unfortunately not. But we did a thousand damage there, plus the bomb damage on top of that. That's pretty good going. Right, let's try and wait for a refresh here. Gotta wait just a little bit. There you go. Just because we can refresh the bombs and hopefully not do what just happened there. Hopefully get a crit as well. Damn it. No crit. Not good damage. We'll see how free the crit is here to so we'll switch over to our dag orb. There is a kind of free crit here. Yeah, that was worth it. Yes, hit the, all the bombs. Hit all of the bombs. That was beautiful. Okay, we've got two of them that are, that are feeling the pain a little bit here. Is this another free crit for us? Kind of. Yeah, there you go. We got it. Ooh, yes. Push straight into that. And almost a thousand damage again, plus the bomb damage for that. They're not healing through this. This is where the real, real damage comes in. Because if this thing pops off, if this peg, we get a crit and some good damage. As you can see, it passes through everything, so... And then it's going to hit every single one of those squares. Yeah, this, this, this thing goes really hard on this stage. Especially when it hits bombs. Like, we've almost cleared out the full area here. I mean, it's kind of surprising we haven't got a refresh anytime soon, but that's a lot of bombs. And that's a lot of damage. There you go. So two are dead now. And you missed. We need a refresh here. There you go. We go for that one. And then both of these are back at it again. This is why I took Persist. Look at the ones just flying off this guy. But it's all over now. I think they're both dead. Ooh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. No, no, no. With the bombs, actually, they're both dead. And our healing is just incredible. But yeah, they're both dead. Even without the shot, almost just the bombs killed there. And there it is. Crucible, level one complete. What a great run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.